What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Gentry and Sons. I cannot believe we are getting ready to release this video. It's a little bit late. I wanted to release it before we went to the Mid America Truck Show, but I honestly didn't know that we were even going to make it to the Mid America Truck Show. I had to leave my full blown trucking business for two weeks and run it from a whole nother state. A lot of sleepless nights, a lot of stress, a lot of trying to figure out how to make things work. I mean, guys, this is my life. This right here is my whole entire life, all in one place. And these trucks take so much time, so much dedication. And if you just slack off just a little bit, that could lead to instant failure, instant problems. You can hurt relationships. You can hurt relationships with your customers. So you have to stay on top of these things. Um, so doing that and trying to build a truck, guys, it took so much commitment and it was scary, but we pulled it off. As you're gonna get to see that in today's video. So any part that you see that we're getting ready to put on this truck, you can buy it at shtube.net and also go follow their YouTube channel, shtube. Rob is an amazing man. He's full of truck knowledge. He's just, that man is blessed. He was put on this earth to make these trucks pretty and to make these trucks run good. And I'm blessed to be able to learn from him and get to work alongside of him. And also blessed that he'd even be able to take me in and just involve me in the truck building community. It's a very tight knit community. And just the fact that he's willing to bring me in and let me be a part of that is just huge. So I love them guys up there. I hope you guys go follow them. But we're going to get to the video. The flooring has showed up. Heck yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Welcome, sir. Guys, we hired the competition. <laughs> Listen, friends got to help friends when you get behind. They're, the only reason they're not coming is because they needed to help me, right? That's it. We're going to blame it on that. <laughs> No, they've worked their butts off on that truck. And I'm telling you right now, guys, this is work. This <laughs> is for the final order. It is not. Uh, it's down to think you could do it in six months. Yeah. No. So it's it's, take it to the front and get all excited and start stripping all this stuff off of it. It's yeah. done. Okay. Yeah. It's but done. Yeah, like said, it but, you know, I mean, Makes it's nice outcome. when it comes together. Oh, though. man, yeah. yeah. This one's looking amazing. I can't believe it when it got here compared to what it was when it was here before. Yeah. Looking amazing, this truck. Uh, what do you want that floor like? Lee's been, how long have you been building your truck now, Lee? Actually, just building it. I ain't been, what, four or five months. Yeah. But now I tore it apart. It's been a couple of years. Well, you've tore it apart a few times, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, I cut the, <laughs> I stressed it three times. I, I stressed it, shortened it, stressed it. That's, yeah. That's what happened with this one. I kept taking it apart, putting it back there. Taking it apart, yeah, putting it back there. Change my mind. I want something different. Yep. Well, when you go to building one, especially an old one, you kind of. Oh my gosh, the stuff that you run into that you don't even know. Well, coming. you think you yeah. want to just fix, fix it, make it run, and then you start taking it apart, and you fix that, and you think, well, Shoot, I can't leave that like that. You're already here. You might as well. Yeah. Yeah. So let's take that apart. Let's, and then the next thing you know, you're time. building everything up. <laughs> By the time you know it, you ain't got nothing but frame rails and a dream. <laughs> no. A bunch of work. Yeah, it's, I'm telling you, it's awesome that everybody's coming together and we're all building this truck together. And it's been a fun project. It really has. I mean, everybody come in today and just humped it. Literally everybody. Oh, that's the straps. Oh yeah. That's gonna look good. Tape it, just wrap a piece of tape around it and then make it stick. Don't, don't double wrap it, just one time deal. That right there. Yeah, that's good. 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 Well, 
I'll have to get a different blade, bro. You may not have to find a razor blade. Oh, bring this box. Got it. Let's go. Ways of Shorter than they were, but I think it worked. Uh oh, this bolt ain't gonna fit. Uh oh. Drill this thing out a little bit. Um, where's your drill? Alright. You gonna drill it? Do something? I saw. Go in here and have a strap. So much going on at home, it's hard to, it's hard to turn them loose, really. Yeah. You want to do this? I don't want to yeah, scratch that paint yeah, up. Yeah, thank you. Oh, yeah. Not with me, I have to scratch it all pieces. No, it ain't going to hurt, I don't think. Really I'm like, well, I'm like just that guy, you know what I mean? <laughs> Crazy is darn you gotta have a jacket on a week ago and now you need to be in shorts. I love it. My allergies ain't I would say about in this way just a little bit. Right there. What do you think? Thanos? You like it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Baby. We had planned on putting like a gator floor in this truck, and we still are. We still plan on doing more to this thing after the truck show. But for now, we matched up the floor in it to the dash. So the dash is wood grain, and we probably do some more to the truck after the show. And that way, like, we've got the I-75 truck show coming up. We'll probably have this thing there. And, you know, uh, Weston's gonna be driving this thing around, showing the world. So we'll probably end up doing the gator floor after mats, and then the dash and all that stuff. But, uh, Right now, our goal is just to be at Mads and have a complete 100% truck. And, you know, we don't want to skip on quality, and we're not going to. Like, that's the thing about it. If we're going to make it, it's got to be 100%. So that's going to decide if we make it or not. Um, none of this whole team that's here, um, we're all OCD as crap when it comes to building these trucks, and we're not going to just change. We just want it to be perfect. We want it to be beautiful. I want everybody to enjoy it. We want Weston to have a nice truck to drive down the road and be proud of it. And that's our goal here. So. Oh, lead YouTuber over here. YouTuber. You want to uh, give me some tickets? Yeah. Okay. I mean, two. You and Jesse? Yeah. I'm here. I can handle that, sir. I appreciate it. It'd be nice if your truck was sitting next to mine. Yeah, it'd be super nice. Well, well let's, let's just talk kissing out real quick and go get your. I don't understand all these hands involved. Why can't we? <laughs>
can we just do a double off right here and blow the whole world's mind? Yeah. We go let's go back here in next to Can we please? Yeah, everybody work on all of them. Like I mean, we've, we've got plenty of time. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, plenty of time. <laughs> You gotta check out this floor. So we did put in a nice little floating floor in it um, for now. And this will be the main floor. And then over top of it, we'll probably be doing the gator mat. And, oh, well, Jesse, what are you doing in here? You're building some pretty sweet stainless. I am trying to take a nap. Jeez, baby. Man. You yeah. would be taking a nap. <laughs> it's time to take a nap. Gosh, oh, it is late. It is like, I gotta get my beauty sleep. Rob's literally planning on spending the whole entire night here. Did he tell you that? No, he came through all ago and somebody said that I was, in, I, had a, I was in a bad mood and he was like, she's in a bad mood because I'm making her work. <laughs> <laughs> He's loving it. He is. He's, He's living it. his best life. Oh, so yeah. So I'm about to try to make you a keyboard. And guys, yeah. we're doing something different and y'all might hate it, but hopefully everybody loves it. Hopefully. If not, it wasn't my idea. If you love it, it was my idea. If not, it was not my idea. <laughs> <laughs> now, this whole truck's different, so we might as well. Yeah. Everything's upside down, crooked, sideways. We're just going to call our old crooked Peterbilt. I think that's what you should call it. Is that the name? Can I put that on the back? Um, Blueberry. Or Tugboat. You can't have four different names. I it's call like... it the crooked Peterbilt now. <laughs> well, I mean, if that's what you want to go with, I mean, <laughs> um, <laughs> You're kidding me. Shoot it the off there. Nope, she should be good. Alright, there's that. We got what one more line up top? No, that's all of them. All the tank lines are on. They're tight. <laughs> The only one we like over here, Rob, is just the, uh, that little line that goes to the, what does it go, the air tank and then to the governor? Yeah. No, no, there to the governor. There to the governor? Huh? Cost me. All right, so we got to put the governor line on it, and that should be about Real close, boys. Yeah, that should be about it. I will that up there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I did. <laughs> All right, guys. I seen in the comments there. Everybody was. There's some people complaining about the us grabbing the stacks with our greasy hands. Look at that. Look, it looks like it matters. It's got plastic on it. I know. That's what I was like. Come on. Pay attention to the video. They ain't got much to hate on anymore, Rob, because we put the dang truck together. We're gonna have it together. They have to find some stuff to hate on. It's all right though, it makes the channel grow. I've got, well, I really need to focus on wiring that sleeper up today. That really needs done, don't it? I can wire pretty good. Oh, you can? Mm. Well, now. I probably won't trust it good though. Check this out. So we got some more stainless on it. Got the wiring harness put in. Got the stainless put on. Some stainless. We still got to peel that off. We'll wait till the truck's actually together to do that. Right, so it is crunch time. We are getting ready to put the mirrors on this thing, the visor. We just got done drilling these rivets out. So we had to drill all three of these rivets out and mount this bracket to the cab. We've still got to put, drill two more rivets up here, drill those out, and then put a bracket up on top of the cab. Then we got to drill out for all the brackets for the visor. Right now we're putting the shifter in it, um, getting everything plumbed, fan on, um, getting all the air system complete because that's that's been the biggest hurdle in this whole thing is putting all the air brake stuff back on it, all air lines, brake valves, all that stuff. It's all new. It's all got to be replumbed. The whole yeah, nine yards. So that was the biggest nightmare on this whole entire truck was the air system. Yeah. But luckily Rob has done like a million of these trucks and knows them like the back of his hand. And he knew where a lot of stuff went. So we, he was really helpful about routing stuff and helping the stuff and making sure everything went in the right place. And we're getting there. We have brakes now. It releases the brakes, it applies the brakes. Um, 
Still got some air leaks to deal with. The transmission valve was leaking a little bit. Uh, a few other little things were leaking, but we're getting there. We should be running and driving, hopefully today. If not today, we'll definitely be running and driving tomorrow. So that'll give us Monday and half a day Tuesday to get on the road. So still a lot to do, but we are getting there. We're knocking this thing out piece by piece. So here's the shifter. So this is a this is a 42 inch shifter. We're going to go with 36. We're going to see how the 42 goes in it. See how it works and all that good stuff. So we got the recliners down here. So these are actually the original recliners and seats that Weston put in this truck. Um, luckily, we had just took them out of the shop when the fire happened and put them in storage. So they didn't get burned up and they are super comfortable. So we've got to figure out a way to wire in all these switches and stuff to where they can work the windows and the doors and all that stuff from right here on the sleeper. Like when they're sitting down, riding down the road, I'd like for them to, you know, this thing like reclines back. There's all kinds of buttons already in here. It's got USB ports and everything. It's pretty cool. So behind us here, we have all the merch and all of our stuff that we are taking to the Mid-America Truck Show. And this sucker is packed. So if you aren't coming, guys, you're missing out. You gotta come and meet all the crew. Everybody has been a part of this build is gonna be there. We're all gonna be hanging out, having a good time. We're spending the week together on the weekend. Dude, this is nerve wracking as heck. We have to cut out these rivets on this freshly painted cab. And oh my gosh, it's like, I'm gonna take this little drill bit, start a little pilot hole. Yeah, not like that, but. You ready for this? Yeah. yeah. Started. You can make my nerves Got it. Oh, oh Bra Brax is there for truck. You know, I've seen so many people say. Oh, you've had plenty of time to recover since that fire. You know, that's just people that's never went through that. Right. You, I don't wish that on my worst enemy. You, you took your whole uh, your whole life and, and it's gone. You know, and I could only imagine if our shop burnt. I mean, we would be... We would be well, the thing about it is, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you guys, honestly. Because I will say, Robert called me at 6 o'clock in the morning. The shop burned at midnight, 11 30, 12 o'clock. You were the first person to call me. Yeah. I was in Florida fishing. Yeah. yeah. You, were the, you were the first person to call me said, hey, anything you need, whatever you need, um, you got it. And then it wasn't an hour later, Rob called me and said, hey, get everything up here. You got half my shop as long as you need it. And we'll take it. We ain't got each other, we got nobody. And that we had just really got to know each like we were just getting like we had done one little project together. Really yeah, we had just uh, yeah. Bunk. Was it the bunk? Yeah, you were actually in the yeah, middle of the bunk. Just yeah. in the middle of the bunk. Yep. Yeah, they were in the middle working on the bunk at the time and uh, known each other a few months. Yeah. And not many people do that. Boys, you you, know, yeah. you gotta have help. Three, all of us need help from time to time. Yeah, bro. I mean, he he lost, he lost motor for roof. He, 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 he lost he, motors, everything in the world. Uh, everything I mean. we we were there for twenty five years, which you know since I was younger at Braxton, like I had enough stuff to build this truck three times over. 
and I and brand new set of stacks, steps, wheels and tires. Yeah, you know, that that's the only thing that bothers me, you know, in a lot of these comments and stuff on this truck. People will say, Well you, you should have done been done. You should have done they don't realize. I mean, you took and had everything, had everything to build it with, and it's gone. So now we're having to piece it back together and what's that? It ain't easy. Guys, I started last week, I had two hundred thousand dollars in the bank. And right now I bet you I don't have twenty thousand dollars in the bank. That's all gonna hold business on. What we had to do, we got that one mounted, I'm gonna show you guys how it's done. So we're gonna put grommets in it. So you gotta drill these out just a little bit. And you put these grommets in it and then you just bolt to the cab. So we're bolting on the uh, the mirrors and the um, visor. Thank you, I love it. I mean, Tim, not only do we go and pick them up, look at the bubble wrap still on them. You're gonna bubble wrap them for us? No, I ain't bubble wrap them. <laughs> yeah. They ain't never yeah, been on bubble, bubble wrap. Oh, I was like, dang, they went above and beyond for us. <laughs> <laughs> look at them wars running, heated mirrors. You got your coaxes and everything on there. Dang, them are nice. Man, guys, I truly do appreciate this. Well, I had to get that going. Like I said, I just got to order them back. I got to have them. But in that one bracket. We would have felt bad guilty if the only reason the truck didn't make it is because it didn't have any mirrors on it and we had some down there. Oh, I, I mean, y'all would have just been standing in front of me guiding me back. <laughs> so think, I'd have I'd have put some... So, I'd have uh, been holding my phone they, out they the window. Him, uh, they'd get him one of them shower mirrors or something. Yeah. Holding <laughs> 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 no, this will help out a lot. I mean, I really thought that these were, I can't believe somehow we got the wrong darn ones, but. Yeah. So guys, what happened is we got two driver's sides and we were still gonna have to put the mirrors on, run the wires and all that. Well, Lee and Jesse happened to have a new set they had just bought, still in the box, ready to go, already wired, ready to go, coax. Heated, everything. Just literally put them on the truck and go. And uh, they were kind enough to sell them to us at a good price and everything. So just whatever what I get for. Just buy them back. All I need. And on top of that, Lee has been with us here the whole time. Jesse's been up there cutting stuff out and helping us. Also, I mean, it's it's truly humbling just to have all these friends that come together. Yeah. Well, that's like what this. I said. We all got too much time and work in it not to get it finished. Yeah, we're having a ball though. Hey, this is, I've had this a is great time. It's like, it, there's that, look, you can say, okay, build a truck and you have however much time you want. Put a tight deadline on it. And then <laughs> yeah. it's like you're running a race. Yeah. You're like in super mode. Yourself, yeah. yeah. Man, yeah. just think though, like, just, what was it, a few months ago, this thing was sitting out here and. Yeah, just the uh, same rails and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. Actually, the real... You just come and go the frame yeah. just a couple months ago. Yeah, because yeah, it was sitting out here after y'all painted it and worked well, on it. that was in September? Wasn't it September? Yeah, yeah September? Right, it was right before Halloween, actually. Yeah. 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 Um, three weeks ago, it was at Fitzgerald's in a paint <laughs> booth. Yeah. So yeah. Just the frame rails and the cabs off of it. Yeah. yeah. When I told everybody, I was like, all right, guys, we're going to put this truck together. You know, your little competition thing lit a fire under me. I was like, well, we got to go. We got to be welcome. there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can't let this happen. Um, it did. No, I mean, I needed to, I needed this. This is, this is really taking us to the next level. And it shows the people out there that can come, you know, like, I mean, to build a truck, you put a team together like we are. I mean, holy crap. Just imagine, it's it, like opportunity working. is crazy. Yeah, it's nuts. It's kind of cool to have all the different brains working, all the yep. different, hey, everybody's got something that they're yep. real good at and everybody putting it everybody in. Everybody could awesome. add a little something to it. Yeah. 
So it's cool to be a part of. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, like, why be by yourself and? Oh, you know what I forgot. Oh. Which he's got, he's got the most of them, but I didn't take these off the cap. Yeah, they're on the cap. I got these. Yeah. There. I think we have both of those. Yeah, but I, I didn't know if you had the both, but you do. But that didn't burn. I mean, this thing could, this could turn into something huge. Yeah. It really could. It would, it's, For all of us. Awesome. I mean, we've all worked our butts off this year to get YouTube going. Yeah. Everybody's struggled since that whole fire thing for me, all the stuff y'all been through. I mean, we need this win. Yeah. yeah. It'd be an awesome big to lap points time. Yeah. For real. And then especially good. when we're... It's good come about Thursday. Yeah, yeah. Truck show. yeah when everybody's the there show. talking to us and, yeah. and looking at it and telling yeah. it, saying how pretty it is. And we can sit down and just shoot the bull. I ain't worried about putting bull yeah. and yeah. fixing this. No, it'll all, I think it'll all be worth it. If yeah. I, we all make it there without going to the hospital for a heart yeah. attack or something, we'll be all right. <laughs> or jail for killing each yeah. other. <laughs> yeah, we're always ready to kill everybody today. I mean, oh, it's been, yeah, he was violent. <laughs> I was like, easy, Rob. Okay, this is. <laughs> it's like, it's okay. <laughs> Well, we got the first mirror on. So, since Jesse and them was kind enough to sell us their mirrors, we're good. I've still got to drill a hole behind this bracket and run the wires and stuff on the inside. But I wanted to get one mocked up and just kind of see what they look like. And, oh my gosh, it turned out phenomenal. Jesus, this truck is coming along so good. Guys, we're going to make it. I do believe we're going to make it from Fitzgerald is so cool he's an awesome dude um I we were on the phone earlier and he said you need anything and I was like yeah I need Brandon Monday and he said all right make it happen so Brandon's coming up here Monday to hang out with us buff the truck do some more paint work on it we're gonna paint the dry shaft touch the back up um whatever stuff we got to touch up he's gonna come up here and do it so he'll be here probably Monday and Tuesday and we should be uh, knocking this thing out. So I'm hoping to leave here Tuesday morning as soon as he's done and head straight for the show. And I think it's going to be... All right, we're going to call it. We, uh, we've been here to 1 a.m. every single night since we've been up here. And I really need to get some sleep tonight. I've got to get a little bit of sleep. It's just... I ain't going to be no good tomorrow if I don't. Dang, Luke. Shining. What's that? It's starting to shine. Starting to. Starting to. The best polisher is a man that loves trucks, and this man out here loves trucks. He drives a truck full time, too. I'll do it. Big old sexy flat top Peterbilt. Tow hauler. Man, that's crazy, isn't it? Just a rough cut right now. Jeez, look at this guy. Trying look, to cut the sand marks out. Look at that stud in there. Oh. Dang, boy. Yeah, these are going to look way better. Well, at least better than we had, right? <laughs> no, he does an awesome job. So, uh, very highly recommended to us for him to come over and do this. But I guess it's something you can do full time? No. I used to, man. But, uh... I get a deal with the public to take a rating. It is. Being on both sides of the spectrum, though, man, I, I tend to want to drive a truck. Yeah, man. I don't blame you. Ten to one. It's a lot easier and a lot cleaner, as you can tell. <laughs> I know. You're clean at lunch. <laughs> All right, guys. So he's going to get them polished up today for us. And we got some more stuff to get cleaned up, polished, get put on. Um, we got Zach here. It's Sunday. Everybody come in on Sunday to help us finish this truck. Golly bum. Get there, ain't you? Oh, I love it here. Wait till we get the visor on this side. Is it a visor on it? Yeah. 
Yeah, put it on there. So. You ready to do that now? Are you putting the blue one on it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do stainless, but getting a stainless visor for today is gonna be too hard and be able to replace it. Wait, there's one here that I could get, but I'd have to replace it next week. And I don't know if we're gonna get one that day. Yes, the visor goes next. Guys, it is midnight Monday night, and the front harness, this whole truck, ties throughout this frame, and I'm having to rewire the whole thing tonight. You guys can see we've reran all the hoses and airlines and all the stuff under this truck, nice and neat and pretty and new. And I want it to be perfect. I could have made it work and just done it from the front and. Uh, but I want a new harness. So this is the only harness that wasn't new. So it's getting completely rewired tonight with a new harness, new connectors. Nice and fancy like the rest of it. Or it's all tied in and nice and neat. <coughs> so here we go. One more wire to go to number. And then pull it out and start rewiring. All right, let's see what happens. Open and praying all this tape stay on. Um. Oh, we got lucky. Shoot, yeah. Uh, let's cut it loose. <clears throat> Perfect. Pull that out the other side. Should be able to. If I can find it. I'm gonna wrap all this back up. New harness, run it through. And then zip tie everything back up. Nice and neat, pretty. Then we'll be done. You gotta put the dry shaft back in, paint under here. All right, so putting all new drips connectors on everything. Nice, pretty, and neat. That way, these harnesses just plug into one another instead of having to tie them together. This is a good wiring. I just didn't like the connectors. So, doing that, we should be hook back up here soon and we can run it nice and neat where I need to run it and then all right so you got the wires out got all new ends disconnectors connectors on everything all new connectors on everything looks good <clears throat> so all this stuff here I gotta put new connectors on them too so it's got good wiring through everything just it's a real good wiring so we're just gonna put new covers on, on all the wiring and then uh, new connectors and then hook everything back up, run it like a, nice and neat. Just like this right here. Everything's all fastened up and nice and pretty. So you gotta fasten this wire up. That's for the clutch jack brake. And then we're gonna put a thing on this to hold it up. After that, that is the wiring. It is completely complete after that. Other, well, no, I take that back. I still got to do the T-bar. Well, we do. Rob will help me with that, I'm sure. And then we put our side panels on tomorrow. We're putting the fenders on now. Devin just cut the grill out of it, so we'll cut a new grill in it in the morning. Finish the plumbing on the motor, and this thing should be done. Well, we got to put the breathers on too. Dang. All right. I keep coming up with stuff. All right, guys. We are back in the shop today, and it has been just hustle, 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 hustle. We hadn't got a lot of footage today. But we we're like on, we have to leave in the morning. So it's Monday evening now. So we're leaving in the morning with this thing. We got to leave by noon. 
the truck's got to be in the booth by four o'clock so we have to get the truck running and driving tonight uh, get most of the stuff on it we got a few hours still in the morning but i mean everybody's tired everybody's exhausted it is just all hands on deck right now and everybody's killing it and i couldn't i just can't thank everybody enough this team has been awesome so uh, we just got a delivery though. Thanks to four states, we were worried we weren't gonna have some parts for the truck before we went to the show. But four states came through for us. I gotta thank them guys. And uh, we're unboxing it right now. Check out these daggone. We got the fronts and the rears. And Roosters was destroyed. So um, I got a set for Rooster and I got a set for West. So front and rears and we got um, frame cap covers. I've always had these on Rooster and I might put some more on it. We may put them on this truck for the show. I'm not sure yet. Um, most of our bolts are caught, but we've had to change a few things here and there. But we're going to give you guys an update on the truck of what it looks like now. So we just got the grill in it. Alright guys, so while Rob's putting antifreeze in it, um, I'm getting ready to paint the dry shafts, do some powder coating. We got the visor on, the headlights are on, we got the headlights wired up, they're in, the grill's in, the bumper's on, we still got to put the cab panels on it, we got to put all of our uh, lights on it, we still got to put the grill, man there's, there's still so much. Exhaust has got to go on it, put the dash the rest of the way together, we still got to put another seat in, uh, we did get the rear seats in it. They actually fit pretty good. Let me show them the rear seats. Check that out. They look pretty good. I was worried they were going to fit, but they did. Uh, let's see what else we got, Brax. We're working on fenders. We may have to put them quarter fenders on it for, for this show and then put the big ones on it after the show. Uh, we will have this truck 100% ready for large cars and guitars. We got the rear, uh, Jesse made this actually. So Jesse and company on YouTube, she's been here helping us with this project, her and Lee. She cut this out on the laser yesterday. Deck plates on. Fifth wheels on. So you gotta bolt that thing up. Um, I may paint the hubs or we may, I don't know. We might put wheel covers on it for now, but. So, oh, we still gotta put the T-bar on it. Maybe it might not be complete, but it'll be pretty close. Do you need the fuel tanks Yep, fuel tanks are hooked up. We gotta put fuel in it and then fire it up, let it run. It's not ran for more than 30 seconds so far. Oh yeah, baby. Getting some polish, some stainless on this bad girl. You guys, we're doing a reverse T-bar since Wesson is known for going off-road and stuff like that. We decided we'd put a higher T-bar on it, do the reverse style, and then do mud flaps. And since we're not running rear fenders right now, it'll also help out with that.
Yep. 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 Are you going to clear up your start in it or? Good change, it might. Well, we got the dry sets painted and they are dry. I think they're dry. Oh, yeah. Good and dry. Ready to go on the truck. I just gotta get these babies put back in. But we got a problem, guys. Big problem. We need a water pump. Water pump. We got the coolant in it and the sucker started leaking. As soon as the coolant hit the water pump, it started leaking. So we gotta figure that out. I don't know what the heck we're gonna do about that. All right, first time putting fuel in it. We're taking the plastic off the stacks. We need to be leaving it on there for hauling it up there, but. I think you get your hand in there and it up. We wanna hear it run, make sure it's good to go. Well, everybody, we pulled an all-nighter. If you guys missed the live, we did like a six hour live. Me and Rob worked on this thing all the way up to about an hour ago. We finally got it running. <clears throat> we got the drive line back in it. And the uh, exhaust is on it. So all it is is just some finishing up, cleaning up, <clears throat> getting it to the show. Cab panels are on it. We gotta put the crossover piece back on it. <clears throat> we finally figured out the wiring issue with it and got it straightened up. We actually had an ECM problem. All right. So everybody that helped out on the live, we appreciate it. And uh, it is running, running and driving. Well, it ain't driving yet, but it is running. Loaded up, the board's on the front, 
trunk, the repeater belts on the back. Everything looks good. My, I'm getting sick as a dog. I don't know if it's allergies or what, but. Oh, I've got tears coming out of my eyes. My nose is running, throat's hurting. So I gotta get it. The moonshine or something, maybe you get feeling better before this show. You got two days. So we're headed that way, guys. We're gonna get up here and get this thing unloaded. We'll get some content along the way. Holy crap, guys. We're getting close to the fairground. We should be rolling up in here anytime now. Anytime now. This bad girl off his trailer. All right.
truck's in the spot. We unloaded the stacks and all the cleaning stuff and some stuff we need to put back on the truck tomorrow. But it's in, it's parked, looking good. Dude, it drove in under its own power. I think it's what matters, right? All right, guys, we're gonna finish the video off there. As always, thank you for watching and being part of the channel. We love y'all, and we'll see you on the next one.